meteorologist Bob Anthony with your precision forecast. Welcome to an, an over the hump day, Wednesday, April 18th, 2012. Yesterday's high 65 degrees, just a little bit above normal, which is 63. The overnight low fairly mild at 46, six degrees above normal. Our record high in the state was in the upper 80s. We could see some mid 80s by this weekend. Yes, it's going to be warm. Uh, as far as rainfall, we have a surplus of just over an inch and a half. Sunrise this morning at 656. Here's some high temperatures across our region. Sun Valley up to 56 degrees. Chalice at 62. McCall at 52 as far as our current readings. McCall and Stanley at 33 degrees, just above the freezing mark. Baker City not too far behind at 37. Most locations around Boise in the 40s at this hour. As far as temperatures across the Pacific Northwest and a good portion of the West, Great Falls at uh, 38 degrees, Casper is chilly at 39, Denver at 39, Las Vegas at 69, and Portland checking in with 46 degrees. Our satellite map has one wave of moisture pushing on through, being pushed along by a strong west to east jet stream flow. With this uh, kind of a weather pattern, uh, any systems that move through don't dump a lot of rain because they're pushed on quite rapidly. So one wave moving on through, some breaks in the clouds for partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, but we do have another wave of moisture that could possibly produce some showers again maybe this afternoon. We'll be watching that very closely, but I think most of our showers will be this morning. We still have a pretty good tap to some moisture, but most of that flow is just to our south, and you can see some breaks in the clouds just off the northwest coast, and that will mean uh, we'll eventually clear up. We'll have some lingering showers, especially for our mountains uh, for, for today, but uh, we'll see some clearing eventually. And by late week, here's when we really see the clearing and uh, high pressure builds in. It expands northward. That pushes the jet stream farther to the north, the storm track. So we'll have some lingering showers on Friday, but by Saturday and Sunday, it's nothing but uh, warm temperatures. And uh, by this weekend, 10 to 20 degrees warmer than normal. In fact, we're looking at temperatures closer to 20 degrees above normal by uh, Saturday. Looks like Sunday is going to be the warmest day, Monday not far behind. Cloudy with a chance of rain though for today, mainly this morning, but it's possible we could see a sprinkle this afternoon as well. For our mountain locations, rain snow mixed this morning, snow level 6,000 feet, pretty high and one to two inches. Not a big dumping of some snow, but some we're still talking snow this late in the season. Rain snow this morning for the Sun Valley area, snow level 6,800 feet, one inch possible, but mo mainly rain in the valley locations, partly cloudy skies with a chance of rain in the Twin Falls area. And our extended forecast calls for a 50% chance of some showers, mainly this morning, but it's possible another surge could move in this afternoon. But I think uh, we're looking at uh, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies this afternoon for the most part. The big story is the warm up. Wow, mid 70s on Friday, looking at some 80s for the weekend. Wow, 85. It's going to be 60 today, so 85 on Sunday. That's a big, big change. Huge. Big change. And so, what is it normally? I mean, this time of year, right around, around the 63. 60s? Okay, so yeah. wow. huge difference. Yeah. All right, thanks, Bob. All right.